Hey, it's Friday. What's up, Matt? It's good to see you, buddy. What's up, Matthew Smith? Welcome back to another episode of Feedback Friday. Feedback Friday, where we review best-in-class emails and talk about what makes them so dang good. Hey, dude, we're looking at some tight little Brooks emails. I started collecting these not too long ago. These things are fun. Here's the thing. I'm going to get some stuff out of the way so that I can just like jam on the exciting stuff. They're all image. And man, that bums me out big time. For all the reasons I've always said, all image means that there's a lot less you can test. It's not accessible for people who have vision problems or are in a, otherwise impaired. It's definitely a problem for people loading emails in places with low internet. Those things aside, they are using fonts in their desktop that are big enough that it translates to mobile really well and very easily. The style and the simplicity and like the focus of these emails is killing it. And I'm just super happy to like go through this. So the first thing, like what a fun gift, like somebody took some time to make something really sweet and special, just cute and, but really nailed it. Talking about dads and all these running dads, which is pretty tight. And this is a great way to use social media, right? Like don't just tell me that you, you know, are on Instagram, show me that you're on Instagram. This is a great, great example of that. And these are those people, you know, I'm sure that they got permission to use their photos and all that kind of stuff, but it's super tight. It's really cool. Right. And then I can jump into gear. So it's just a fun way to celebrate quickly. Hey, it's father's day. Let's do this. And Hey, let's jump in. And they're talking about some sweet stuff and dad approved gear. Now this is an interesting one in, in the sense that a lot of people have shitty dads or they don't have dads at all or whatever. I think they're just jumping in pretty quick. They're talking about it easy and then they're piecing out. I think they've done a nice job. They're not saying things since we all have dads, they're not making any assumptions. So those are some things you got to be careful of. It's not a father's day sale or anything. It's just like, here's some dads. This is a surprising one to me. I, I wasn't the biggest fan right up front when you're scrolling through this, but looking at it again, like there's a lot of little tidbits in this email. Like if you scroll up, even like the outline around that image sort of being that hand drawn is, is really like interesting. And yes. I wouldn't even think of something like to do something like that. I would just probably like crop it in a, a plain square. Right. So I think that adds a lot of personality and uniqueness to this email. And then scrolling down to that massive mobile nav feels pretty good, I guess. I think it solves a problem for them and and showing all those different links. You know, those do sometimes get clicks and if people are expecting to see the navigation, maybe they're clicking on them more often. And then that CTA copy, I think is really fun and interesting. In general, I think this one has a lot of little pieces that add up to a pretty good looking email. Yeah, I agree. I'm always curious about navigation within an email. You know, I haven't done any work recently for an e-commerce brand that was, you know, using something like this, but from just a user experience point of view, it's super handy. The ability to feel like I can jump one or two clicks in right away without having to land on the page, then look and navigate, but get in. And then this idea of being able to find a shoe finder, which feels like probably a tool to help me get the right shoe. You know, I have the hardest time finding a good bra. So I'm excited about jumping in with that. But knowing that I've got a 90 day free return, like these kinds of things are what sells people on like feeling served by the the brand. So let's jump into some others, see what they're doing over here. Once again, they have a cool gift. They're showing a lot of shoes fast, fast, right? Like I want to run fast. They're like, not like moving this slow gift through. I like that. That feels good. And it's interesting. These shoes look good. The type is nice and big and clear and simple. Notice they have a heading here. They have sub copy divided by this little divider and then some CTAs. And then look, they do the exact same thing again, but on a white background, they keep it super duper consistent. They switch it up a little bit here to get price divider, heading, subheading, shoe, CTA, but like it's still the same sort of components, right? The same in design system thing, you call it atoms, you know, it's these little blocks and it just works and it's so clean and simple. Like that's why I like this kind of stuff. I would love to see hover states on some of these buttons, but again, you can't because it's, you know, it's just a big image, right? 
There are groups out there that could really code this up pretty quickly. And once you have it coded up, then you're able to build things very fast. So that's the other reason not to use images is if you want to build a new email or if you want to test some new copy, you've got to go work with a designer and then a developer and the whole team to get a new email out the door versus like jumping into the template or into the code block and adding some text or changing a CTA, that kind of thing. So again, would love to see live text, but here's some interesting stuff again, sort of on that promo that they had going for dad, just another way of like drawing people in. I think that's pretty interesting. And then again, this, this big nav, even with um, it being all images, I feel like the text is very readable. So even if you're going to lock in that text, at least make it readable on mobile and desktop. And I think they do really solve that issue of it being large enough on mobile that I don't have to squint or zoom in or anything like that. That's it, true. It feels like they're d designing mobile first and sort of scaling it on desktop, which is nice. That is true. When you do an image like this, just make sure that you're really providing accurate, very clear alt text for it to remain accessible to people who have visibility, you know, issues, keeping in mind that, you know, it wasn't long ago that on the web that moved to now a, an issue where you can have a lawsuit and it won't be long before that's something to expect in email as well. This isn't just to be nice to people or ethical to people. This is something that is about business level decision. So jumping over and continuing to look, here's another set, but this time just a little bit different sort of way of moving through it. Keep things fresh, keep things interesting, but look, they're still using that hand drawn sort of feel to continue with the brand. I think that's a really rad way of thinking. So they're enhancing these photos with this hand drawn quality, and then they're getting people into their shoe finder. This image feels like it's not on brand, but other than that, I feel like they've really nailed some nice ways of looking at things here. I probably would have put some rounded corners on these photos or something like that. I think that almost feels like it's a little bit more in brand, but I like that they switched it up. Any thoughts? I think I like the themes of these emails. I think they are finding interesting themes around these different sends. At the end of the day, they're just selling you the same probably handful of, of shoes over and over again. I think they're doing a smart job on trying to bring in some new ideas and framing these products around things that you want to do or people in your life yeah. or something like that. Yeah. These features are pretty interesting here too. They talk about, I want my whole body to be sported. I want to land softly while also showing you these sexy shoes. It's pretty smart. You know, it's sort of interesting. Yeah. And I think that goes back down to the, you know, what job is this email doing? Right. In this case, it's really telling you like, okay, I don't really want a shoe. I want my whole body to be supported. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Getting people into nature runs again, handmade, notice the handmade stuff. looks like they got outside gear of the year. Good job. This is a really interesting, you know, way to continue to push the brand. Now it's a little different. I think they're exploring some stuff with handmade here that is a little bit new, right? Like using that for buttons. But I think that it's really clear that these are buttons. I'm excited to, you know, be able to look at these emails and see some new things. That's one of the things I expect. Every Brooks email I get, I expect it to be unique. I expect it to be different. Everyone. And that's been pretty neat to like see what are they showing now. But notice that they're using the consistent type sets on each one. So they switch to handmade, but the handmade is all, it feels like it belongs. Like it's a big kind of marker type of font, but it feels like it consistently belongs. So that's impressive. And then this last one, this is a little bit more like get her done. Nice big photo, some folks running together, just a real clear heading, subheading, CTA. And then they break this down into, you know, it's summer, here's how to stay cool. They're giving me a little education and they continue to promote this shoe finder. So I think these are just some really nice ways of creating themes for emails. As you said, I like the way you put that that lead people through different ways of communicating with their customers and providing value. They're trying to move people toward buying products, but also trying to have fun, trying to create a brand. You start to get the feeling of I'm a Brooks kind of runner. I'm a Brooks kind of user. 
And I think that's the quality of brand. You're trying to create a distinction so that people begin to choose you. This is last week we did this episode on Arrow, right? The Arrow of the Plains. I think this is where Arrow was kind of dropping the ball a little bit. Like they hadn't yet created enough distinction to say, yeah, I'm an Arrow type of flyer. But Brooks is really doing that well in their illustrations, in these big emails, in this clarity, in their photography. I think it's really doing a good job. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, email geeks, who should we talk to? Who should we interview next? Let us know. We love having you here. Thanks for being here and have a wonderful weekend. Love ya. Bye. Bye.